Today we're going to talk about the airbag system installed on the Volkswagen Cabriolet. As of 1990 model year, all Cabriolets come equipped with a driver's side airbag. Now this airbag system is a supplemental restraint system. By that, I mean that it works together with the three-point belt to restrain the driver in the event of a severe frontal collision. Now this system also makes it possible for the cabriolet to meet the 1990 passive restraint requirements. Now what we're going to look at today is the system's components. We'll look at what parts make up the system, where they're located, and how they work. We'll look at system testing. To test and diagnose the system, the new diagnostic tester VAG 1551 is used. And no other test equipment can be used on this system. And finally, we'll look at service procedures. Cabriolets equipped with an airbag have some new procedures that must be followed. And we'll explain those here today. The airbag is located in this specially designed steering wheel. It's folded up in this housing it's covered with a vinyl pad. The vinyl pad is designed to tear open in the middle as the airbag inflates. Now the airbag will inflate in about 30 milliseconds, less than the blink of an eye. It will then serve to cushion the driver and absorb and dissipate the energy of the driver's forward movement. The airbag consists of a nylon bag with a rubber coating inside it. It also has four discharge holes at the back of it to allow the bag to deflate. Now, the airbag is folded up within this aluminum housing and inflated by this gas generator which is bolted to the back of the housing. The gas generator is filled with a solid propellant that when ignited will generate a very large volume of harmless nitrogen gas very quickly to inflate the bag. Now this complete airbag unit is bolted to the steering wheel here with these two Torx head screws that are located at the back of the steering wheel. The bolts are coated with a thread locking compound. Both bolts should be replaced whenever the airbag unit is removed. The airbag system is controlled by this electronic control unit here. This control unit contains a voltage transformer which will ignite the airbag. It also contains an energy reserve which retains enough power to operate the system even if the battery is disconnected during a collision. The control unit also has a safety sensor. Now, this prevents the airbag from being deployed during normal driving situations such as hitting severe potholes or bumps. Now the sensor closes at about two to two and a half G's of forward deceleration. The system then becomes armed. The control unit also has a permanent memory. This memory constantly monitors the system and will retain its memory even if the battery is disconnected. The control unit is located under the center console. It is fastened in place with shear nuts. The hex head on these shear nuts will twist off when the correct torque is reached. This reduces the possibility of the control unit being tampered with by untrained personnel. It also assures